Hi there. View Uranus here. Let's have a talk. Today, I want us to talk about our movement. Comicsgate. Where is it going? Where has it been? And what I personally see is a roadblock that's coming up fast. <laughs> right now I'm a lone voice crying in the wilderness of YouTube and this may never see the light of day or any ears in Comicsgate, but I'll still say the words. According to the Bible, words do not return void, which means if you speak the truth, it will have an impact. And this is the truth I feel needs to be spoken into existence. <laughs> when the mainstream lost its ever-loving mind, what some would argue goes back at least to 2014, maybe earlier, but certainly happened in 2016. But the journey began off that deep end was, it began with the writers. Your boy Zach once did a breakdown of the wins, the wares, and whom's, I'll link it below. But his breakdown of the derailment of the mainstream happened when a writer told Fan to shut up on social media. He received no repercussions for what was once a taboo thing to do. And it used to be a career ender. But he suffered no consequences. He also mentioned the infamous article by a certain queen of the SJWs that broke her into comics, where she erroneously took a short-term trend among writers to create love interests just to kill them off gruesome ways to give characters growth. Now, it was a trend that I... I have at least three comics where this happened at that time. And it happened with female superheroes, too. But she made it misogynistic, even though it was an obvious attempt to get more edgy and more, shall we say, image-like. <laughs> yes, I did the air quotes. I do not think image comics showing up in the industry was unrelated at that time. But she was given books the industry insiders who had been laboring for years were not assigned. Meritocracy was put on the back burner to suit agenda. Now even though she has some ability, I believe that she's patient zero because the havoc she has wrought in the people and agenda that her influences has opened the door for. However, in every turn that Zack talks about, we see the same villains, the same subgroup within the comic book industry. It all seems to start with the writers. Now when you look at where the mainstream is today, if you can bring yourself to look at the bloated floating corpse, <laughs> trust me, Bring some menthol for the nostrils. That's no longer our loved one on the beer. All of the bad decisions, all of the atrocities, all of the despicable things that were visited upon our characters were done by the writers. I know Zach really likes to push that this is a visual medium, and, and it is for the most part, but someone gives the artist their marching orders. So when the movement broke off from comics, mainstream, and went, started going directly to the fans, they tended to go with artists and their IPs. Now artists are rock stars. Artists create magic on the page. There's a reason there are draw streams and not write streams. But at the end of the day, artists have their limitations. I, I know Gasp. Oh no, he didn't say that. Oh, I know we all bask in the warm glow of Malin, EVS, Frega Boom, Art T. Bear, K Kelsey, Shannon, Kane, and White. Oh my gosh, what, look at his stuff. And others I could mention. I know we all ooh and ah when we see what they've been doing in their table time. But... Have we devalued writing? 
Now when you look at Image Comics, it was artist driven too. They broke free of the big two, created their own thing. The art was spectacular and glorious. And there were new IPs. Well, well, they look suspiciously like mainstream characters in a lot of ways, especially in Lightfield's case. But they seemed fresh and new at that time. And then the deadline started to go by. Things started to go by the wayside. Storylines that these artists wanted to draw were glorious on the page, but they didn't have much impact. And there are very few comics that had any kind of longevity beyond that era. Now think about your favorite comic from those days. Mine was Gen 13. Can you give me the plot? Are you going to talk about the design and the panels, the AAT as it were? It all seemed to burst off the page. Now you're going to talk about... You're going to talk about the art. But name me comics that have impacted you, changed your life. Name the greats. Batman Returns, Frank Miller, Watchmen, Alan Moore, Sandman, Neil Gaiman. Uh, name the comics that people point to as the pinnacle of art and story. And they all are written by legendary writers. We need to get back to the source of comics. The marrying of art and writing. Art is wonderful. Yes, art is the most blatant example of someone seeing technique and talent and years of work played out. However, to get to the future, we need writers that are just as good. Now we have Mike Barron, Chuck Dixon, Von Kloss, Mike Poulton, Mandy Summers, Adam Friended, Red Valkyrie, among others that have come to Comicscape. But a lot of people are learning how to write. And write in the art form for the first time. And it's going to be a while before we're up and running, combining our incredible art with the writing that is out there. But we've got to do better. Now, I'm not saying that artists can be great writers in a world where Frank Miller st still breathes the air. And yes, I am aware that the Marvel way was basically Stan Lee spitballing in the bullpen and artists taking his vague ideas and writing books as they drew them while he put his name on them. But I am saying we need to value writing more than we do. If you want evidence that not everyone can write, to look at the mainstream comics right now. Go ahead, pick one up. If you want a bushy, eyebrowed pseudo-female, you have about 200 comics to choose from in the last five years, and all with the same plot. And if you want someone who arbitrarily called herself a pronoun and is now producing nearly four comics every new comic book day... Just go to the news. Just go to a comic book shop and pick through the corpse. <laughs> Meritocracy matters. We need to have writing rock stars. At least we need to value the ones that we have more. Now, if we do this, we won't go the way that early image comic group went. There should be a big three, but right now there's only a big two. Image lost its impact. They just suddenly became another lesser producer. They could have been great. And now they're just an afterthought. We don't have the shortcomings that mainstream have. We don't have their handicaps. We don't have the gatekeepers. We don't have the woke hiring. We can hire people who are good. We can pair them with our incredible artists and we can put out a superior product. This is our advantage. But right now I've backed 99 comics. I've received 40 of them and to be honest, I haven't read many of them more than once. Cyberfrog. Blood Honey. Uh, is a work of art. EVS is... Uh, just as good a writer as he is an artist. 
Yes, I said it. <laughs> He's a hell of an artist, but he can write. We've got to have more like that. Right now we have one writer who is doing about 13 projects. And I've read his stuff. It just doesn't grab me. We need to identify people who say they can write. We need to have someone that reads these scripts and says, Okay, this one is really good. And, and pushes these people. But we only push pro uh, we only seem to push visual medium. Oh wow, look at the yard on that one. But when you see what Clint Stoker is doing, Clint wrote comic books and he paired up with a great artist and they're producing Fatal. It's a great concept. And I'm really looking forward to that comic because it's the first time we that I can recall where an art a true writer, a guy who basically started out getting his uh, name out there as a writer first and is known for being a writer in paired with a great artist and I really want to see that comic book I think it's going to be great you see the stuff that Kyle Ritter is putting out I can't wait for Starblades but at the end of the day if we don't fix this we're going to be another image comics circa mid 90s and our comics will look better but they won't be better we have an advantage let's use it this was a view of Uranus have a nice day